Okay, here's our last um, exponent law for the week. Uh, so we have power of a product rule of exponents. So again, exponent has to do with repeated multiplication. Power, that has to do with, like if we look down here, like y to the third, this is considered a power. And then power of a product rule, so we're gonna be using powers and products together. So we're kinda combining the last couple rules that we learned into one rule so that we can do a little bit of a, a kind of grander problem here or expression. Um, so we want to distribute the exponent to each number within the monomial. So that's kind of the first thing that you want to look at. We're, we're literally distributing. That means kind of giving that exponent to each piece. So we can see that happening in this first one. So we have negative 9, y to the third, z squared, and then we have this exponent of 2 on the outside of the parentheses. So the first thing that they do on this is they literally give this exponent of 2 to each one of the terms, to each one of the pieces. Sorry, it is all one term, each one of the pieces, I'll say that. So negative 9 squared, y to the third squared, and z squared squared. Um, so we're distributing that piece. And then we're going to simplify the coefficient by applying the exponent. So we are going to actually apply the exponent to any co coefficient we have. So we have negative 9 squared, well that's negative 9 times negative 9, so negative times a negative gives a positive, 9 times 9 is um, 81, so we get our 81 here. Um, and then we're going to use the power of a power rule to simplify the variables. So that was the last, um, the third, sorry, law of exponents, I lost my words there for a second, um, that we did. It was the last video that I just um, went through, so if you're not sure what power of a power rule is, Go back and watch that video again. It was a short one, I believe. So what that means is when I have a power on a power, I can multiply the two powers together. So um, we can see that happening. So this one, all they did was evaluate the negative 9. So they're showing you that over here. They're giving you little notes. And then down here, all of a sudden, we don't have all these parentheses and these extra powers. So we have 3 times 2 is 6. Because what this 2 means is I'm doing y to the third power two times. So y to the third and y to the third, well, that means I have three y's in the first one, three y's in the second one, so total I have 6. So instead of expanding it on this one, we're just going to do multiplication. It's a, a very fast way of simplifying. So 3 times 2, we get 6. 2 times 2, we get 4. So this guy is simplified all the way down. So there's Nothing else we can do unless they tell us what y or z equals on this one. Um, so they're just asking us to, to simplify as far as we can. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and try these. So I have two x z cubed, and we're bringing that to the fourth power. So remember this fourth power means I'm doing each one of these things four times. So I'm gonna show that four on each one of these. So I have two to the fourth power, x to the fourth power because there was a 1 here, so it's just going to be x to the fourth power, it just kind of goes there. And then I had z to the third power, and I'm going to do that four times. So now I'm going to do 2 to the fourth, so that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that gets me 16. So that's my first piece here, and then I have x to the fourth, z um, cubed to the fourth power, so I haven't done anything with the, the x and the z yet. The x is already simplified, there's nothing more to do with this. So I'm going to focus on the z, and I'm going to go 3 times 4 to tell me how many z's there are actually being multiplied here. So there's 12, so I have x, um, 16 times um, x to the 4th power times z to the 12th power. So it's a little bit of a grander problem, we're, we're combining skills here, but it is pretty quick. There, There's just a few kind of simpler calculations we have to do to apply it to these exponents. All right, let's go ahead and look at the second one. So negative 3, a cubed, or a to the third power, and b to the fourth. And then we're doing that four times again. By chance, we're using the same exponent on these guys. Um, so you can see it here. I've not fully expanded it. All I've done is distribute that 4 to each one of the pieces. So negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. So make sure you include that negative. If you're doing this in a calculator, you type in 3, and then there's a little swap button. It looks like a plus minus. There's either going to be two arrows kind of going in opposite directions, or there might be kind of a slash between the plus minus. Depends on which calculator you're using. 
but you um, can just type in 3 and then hit that little swap button. It'll change it from a positive to a negative. Um, depending on the calculator you're using, you may just be able to click negative 3, like literally the minus button and then 3, and it'll um, also do it that way. Um, certain calculators won't put the minus in with that method. So just be careful, know your calculator that you're using. So when we multiply these together, we get 81. It's positive because two positives make, an, um, sorry, two negatives make a positive. So I have two negatives at the beginning, then I get nine. And then if I jump to these other two, I get nine again because um, it's negative three times negative three again. So I end up with positive nine times positive nine to get positive 81. So that's the first part there. So that's 81, I've, I've just evaluated the coefficient. And then I'm now going to start evaluating the power on powers. So 3 times 4 for the A, I get 12. And then, oops, that animated out of order. That was supposed to be 4 times 4 equals 16. Um, so um, now I know my power for A is 12. My power for B is going to be 16. I just need to write that up here. So I, I have, darn it, that was another typo. That should be 81, not 16 a to the 12th power and b to the 16th power. All right, so that was simplifying using power of a product rule of exponents. So I hope that helped and I will see you in the next video.